Tell me something nice. Tell me how you love me. You know. I only know what you tell me, and you tell me nothing. Look at these hands. Broken to feed us. These hands speak louder than words. What is the cost of telling me? No. What could you want? What every woman wants. A little passion. A little passion. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see what I can do. It's time to go. Why can't you come with us? I have all those fields to clear. Remember, when men build lives from honest toil. Courage never fails. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I hate sleeping without you. It's safe. It's Stonebridge. Of course we'll be safe. People call Father Farmer. Doesn't he have a name? Your father believes that people become what they do. Nork brought him to Stonebridge when he was just little. So Nork is his father? The whole town adopted him. Different families took him at different times. But Nork, he always kept a special eye out. I'm glad he has a family now. I'm glad it's us. General? Report to your king. Your Majesty. Krug. Savage armed Krug. They, they fight with swords. This is ridiculous. It's as if you were talking about armed dogs. They fight like men. They killed off our entire scouting party. Had the general not ordered me to return with word, I should be dead as well. This is some sort of sorcery.
finally into the oven with you. <laughs> I hate the oven. Why? It's dry. It's warm. You don't want us to eat you raw now, do you? What do you have to eat me? Tonight, I promised your grandfather we're going to eat a dish he really loves. <laughs> Sales of the market. It was good. Of course, the men try to take advantage of me because I'm a woman. So I make them pay more because I'm a woman. Always in charge. Always the leader. No, I just knew what I wanted. That's all. Well, until she met your father. Your father does not take orders very well from anybody. Tower? Should we go? Well, you have to be careful. The bell tower was made for times of war. You don't want to pull the wrong rope and start a war now, do you? <laughs> Beasts. They don't have armor and weapons. I need to use your horse, Narek. Where are you going? Stonebridge. Solana runs after that. Coming with you. Farmer didn't come. No. My husband likes to leave the trade to me so that he can farm. You did well for a husband. He loves you very much. Yes. Yes, I believe he does. When the bride and groom kiss, ring the bell five times. Signaling their marriage for the village to hear. Go. Go now. Take Zeph home now. Take him. You can protect him, Father. Protect him. Progress is truly remarkable. If only Eb had more soldiers of your caliber. Let me join your army and you shall. <laughs> <laughs> I am not quite sure that the armies of Eb are ready for women warriors. Besides, what would your father say? My father never lets me do anything I want. Tarish, prepare your troops to ride. Hordes of Krug are ransacking the land. Oh, the sun is blistering my skin. 
What is this nonsense you speak? Just do as you are commanded. I listen only to the king. It might behoove you to learn a little respect. Respect is earned. You are mistaken. Respect is my birthright! Yeesh. And bolt the door. Come quickly. Thank you, Father. Go. Oh.
go. <laughs> You've already killed me once today. And yet, here we are again. Solana. Nobody saw Solana. Nobody knows. We didn't find her body. She could have escaped. That's right, Farmer.
Marion. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. I've been busy. Very busy. We had an agreement. I gave you access to my castle so that we might work together. And I'm keeping my end. I'm sure recent events demonstrate how very busy I've been. Yes, indeed, you have managed to stir things up a bit. Stir things up? Tell me, Duke, what do you know of a man they call Farmer? People of Stonebridge, the armies of Ebb sympathize with you. This great tragedy will be avenged. Where were the king's army when the crook came killing? Peasant! Do not forget to whom you speak. In your world, don't you bow before your king. In my world, the king's army is expected to protect the kingdom. Not just the castle. <laughs> but of those taken by the Krug? Krug taken prisoners? Silence! If these Krug have taken prisoners, it is not yet clear what their purpose might be. The King's army will require every man capable of combat. Who is with us? The King has his armies on his walls. Those taken by the Krug only have us. You dare defy your King's wishes! I'm with you, Farmer. Guards! Come go. That is not the way of ever. You took a risk turning your back on the kid. No more risk than you. I have no choice. She's my wife. My sister. All right, let's get to it. Stay here. Who are the armies to Ebb? You wanted the life of a soldier, didn't you? Nah, I didn't like the uniforms. Do you have a horse? I'm there. She's old, but still strong. Old, but still strong. You're in my way. We have met before, have we not? Tell me something nice. Tell me how you love me. You know. I'm Merrick, the King's Magus. I've heard of you. Children's stories about magic. Your king needs you. Yeah, well, my son needed me. I failed him, now my wife needs me if she lives. Does it occur to you, farmer, that there may be events of greater importance than the loves and losses of our particular lives? No. It doesn't occur to me. Try to stay alive, farmer. Your king needs you. Far more than he understands. How did you know about this bridge? As a child, I run to learn these parts, and so I spent my days. If we wind through the gorge, we'll lose a day. What are you thinking? We can cross it. Let's take the gear off the horses. What do you mean, we're leaving them just like that? Are you afraid we're gonna hurt their feelings? Go home! Ha! Ha! Get out of here! Let's do it.
are brave, old guy. No, I just don't want you weakening the rope before I've had my turn. Come on! All right, let's go. Come on. You were more concerned about your horse. My horse I like. It's you I'm not so sure about. Well, wait till you get to know me better. soldier. How many men on guard here? I am on guard. My king. Hmm. You on guard. <laughs> you follow, you're very, very <laughs> naughty. <laughs> you make my bosom tickle. <laughs> I will tell your mommy. Where are you going? Oh. My nephew amuses himself. The king's throne. Do you feel it suits you? You play while your king and his legions are off on a military campaign. And your only job is the safety of this castle, which is guarded by no one! Your Majesty was off investigating outlandish claims. Get him out of my sight. No! Before I make you. Unhand me! You are not fit to kiss my gown! You. You are not fit to tarnish your uncle's crown. <laughs> Unless the king specifically orders it, you cannot touch me. Imperial law is a toy I shall never tire of. are progressing according to plan. I cannot wait any longer! I cannot stand the suffering rule of that senile goat! Make it happen. You wish to accelerate things? Fine! We shall accelerate! always appear suddenly from nowhere? I don't. I appear so suddenly from somewhere. You assume too much entering my chambers unbidden. Am I welcome to the hospitality you've offered in the past? Welcome to come and go as you please. And you vanish without a word. I'm not your harlot. How could you think such a thing? You know very well why I must appear so quietly. I can't very well be pounding on my lady's door, now can I? Do you come and go as you please? When you're considered by my father to be an enemy of the king. I have friends. I wield influence. How does my father despise you so? He's not known for his hasty opinions. Questions! I did not come here to be interrogated! 
Your father hates me because I will not bow and scrape before the almighty king and his magus. Because I will take from him what I please, even his daughter's virtue. Be gone from my chambers. Be gone from my life. Are you banishing me as well? And after all the work we've done, haven't I helped you discover your power, your vision? You've introduced me to parlor tricks and nightmares. Be still. My liege, again allow me to offer my deepest apologies for mistaking your orders. A mistake? Is that what it was? Yes. <laughs> May I sit, Your Majesty? <sighs> Boy! I know. Go. I know I have failed your trust on several occasions, and perhaps I may be a disappointment to you and the entire kingdom, but I will change. I will shed this youthful folly in this time of great battle, and I will prove myself a worthy heir. Eat. You show a knack, my nephew, for well-timed diplomacy. I guess that's something. May I offer a toast? Possibly. Drinking wine in the morning is not a good way to show reform. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Long live the king! <laughs> yes. The Quag last attacked Stonebridge in the south. Yes, and this harsh terrain will drive them north around the marsh. And we should attempt. But as if the Quag behave the way they're supposed to behave. Nobody goes into Sedgwick Forest. The forest passes between the mountains. We'll come out at Slate Pass as the Krugs arrive. There's more than brush and trees in Sedgwick Forest. You don't just cut through it when you please. You don't want to be stuck here at night. People like torches. Torches attract eyes. Let him look. Farmer! You know what people say. There are... things in Sedgwick Forest. People say God watches over the earth and... People say a lot of things that won't help us now, Norik. Come on, we've got a lot of ground to cover. I don't see any path. There is no path. So how do we know where we're going?
right, Norik. Part of the plan, farmer. Let us down. When I'm ready. Get out of our forest. You have no business here. We hate your weapons and your killing. We're passing through, that's all. Then pass through. And never come back. We're, uh, we're lost. Men. Not only useless, but helpless as well. Your Majesty, I beg of you news of my father. My father has gone on an errand for his king. Please. What's happening? I worry that he's in grave danger. King's Magus has many responsibilities. What he does not need is a daughter who's troubling herself with the affairs of men. My father thinks that keeping me locked in this castle will ease my mind. He's wrong. I know the mood of this court. It's never been more troubled. Darkness threatens our empire. Darkness is spawned by magic. Come on! Hey! And Father seeks reason and Your Majesty. remedy. Your Majesty. Father. Your Majesty! The Galleon! I feel like I'm dying! Did you dine well with the king? What have you done? I thought you were in a hurry. To accelerate things. Oh. I suppose I may have tampered with the king's food. You've poisoned me! You've killed me! Don't be so melodramatic. Oh. It's nothing that can't be fixed. and he's taken two full legions with him. Well, that tells us who poisoned the king. <laughs> Prepare to move to the north, where we shall meet our new allies. The strength of our combined armies shall allow for generations of peace and tranquility. I detect the hand of Galleon in this. Why has Commander Teresh not briefed us on this mission? <laughs> ah! <clears throat> Any 
Anyone else care to commit treason? How much of the army remains? A third. Hmm. Well, I have seen the Krug massing. Galleon is raising armies, vast armies. How? How is that possible that a single man can cause so much devastation? My own daughter, betraying me to my sworn enemy. Do you hate me that much? I thought that I loved him. He is tapped into our bloodline. You have tilted the balance of magic in his favor. Thanks to you, the kingdom may be lost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why do you hate outsiders? You hate each other. Why shouldn't we hate you too? We stay in the forest to avoid your wars and your contests and your mindless enterprise. And yet here you are, shooting your arrows into our trees. Harm is but a way of life for your people. The fact that you don't realize it is what makes you so dangerous. This is as far as I will take you. Good luck. Do you have a plan? It's not so easy to kill a king. We will attack. But your majesty, you have been poisoned. Perhaps you haven't your bearings. I have my bearings, Commander. And I have my wits. Krugs do not expect us to attack, so that's exactly what we will do. You poisoned me. I believe it was your nephew, Duke Fellow. And there's worse. He has abandoned the castle, taken the guard and the 11th and 12th legions. You will attack. Where's like Some of your troops. How much time do I have? Your life is coming to a close. But there is time enough. Not at all. She's here, Narek. I can feel it. I think you're right. Solana! for our king. And 
our king proudly fights in the name of Your Majesty. Ray! God blesses those who die for honor and truth! I'm curious about you, Farmer. I sense danger in you. I can't read you. I can read most men, like reading scrolls of flesh. But you? You, I can't see past your scowl. Why is that? Who are you? Some riddles aren't worth solving. Where's Farmer? Where's Zeph? Bastian, where's Zeph? Is he with our parents? Yes. He's with them, but... He didn't make it. He was killed with them the day you were taken. I'm sorry. me now, farmer. Much for you to do. Oh, looking too good, are you? Ah, there. Try a bit of this. <coughs> What's it like? Medicine. <laughs> ah, that's medicine. <laughs> Come on. Hey! 
emotions for sport, and you learned nothing! Have I helped you discover your power, your vision? There's nothing but love for you. <laughs> Girl of stupidities. Damaged him. <laughs> Taking your life would damage him further. allies. These are corrupt, obedient, relentless, and unquestioning. You see before you is a powerful army. Take this man, put him in the king's tent. See that my horse is well fed. Oh! So is this your urgent errand? This is the farmer from Stonebridge. It is. Now why does a disloyal dirt lover from Stonebridge command such careful attention from the King's Magus? Because the King has a special interest in this dirt lover. I know nothing of this interest. Neither does the King. I thought it was about time that you two were properly introduced. We met. The last time he turned his back on me. It's under one needed doing. I thought your majesty would be interested in this farmer. He's been through a great deal since we met him in Stonebridge. So is everyone else. What makes him so special? Because, your majesty, he is your son. Farmer has a friend, Norick. Norick tended the Queen's horses. I recognized him when we were in Stonebridge. After the massacre at Oxley Pass, this Norick found a boy about three years of age wandering in the battlefield. There was only one boy at Oxley Pass. What do you think of this tale, Farmer? One old man thinks he recognizes another from 30 years ago. That's how you determine who's king. You are the king's son and heir to the throne. I have no father, no parents. I have no business here. Are you telling me that that arrogant bastard is my son? Spent the last 30 years living over a stone bridge farm? It would appear so. It would appear so. You told me he was dead! You said they were all dead! What kind of joke? Do the gods play on me? Sometimes the gods know what is best for us. What the hell does that mean? You remember the chaos we were in? Hmm? 
war everywhere, surrounded by enemies. If that child had been taken back to Castle Ebb, how long would he have survived? Growing up in Stonebridge, he grew up strong and far away from the enemies who would have jumped at any opportunity to rid you of your son and heir. Dear friend, you better be right about him. You better be sure. The king needs every able man he can get for this battle. That's not my problem. His kingdom is threatened. Your kingdom is threatened. I don't know this king. Solana's my family. Norik and Bastion, they are my family. And where will you live? Hmm. When the kingdom falls to Galleon, what future will you be able to offer your wife? Think about it. Follow, you have committed treason. We offer no quarter here. And anyone who follows under your command will likewise be considered as a defector. We will spare no traitor! Gentlemen! Commander Tarish has poisoned the king and accuses me of treason. Ha! Your ambition has no limits, Tarish. The kingdom of Ebb! is now subject to my rule. We as well offer no quarters. You will never be king, my nephew, because you have no valor. Not now, not ever. <laughs> The 11th and 12th legions are with you, your majesty. You coward! These Krog have no archers, but they also have no fear. Now they outnumber us. But we are men, and we serve a noble kingdom. They are beasts with bloodlust, nothing more. So have you come to do your duty? I've decided to fight. I'll be proud to have you fight by my side, so that I may keep an eye on you. Commander, lead out.
flight! Hey! Move out! Simply beckon more! Christwind, is this where we pay for our sins? No, Norik. This is where we pay for our virtues. Sins are more than welcome here. King. Still got on gold. Ah. 
off the field. Well, good uncle. Right. Why are we entering Cedric Forest side? We should cut through the forest to Castle F. With no armies and no guard, the castle is ours for the taking. Let's get out of this place. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Looky here. A friend of the family. How delightful. Alone in the forest. Does not make you feel vulnerable. Keep your distance. You never did trust me, did you, Mirella? Your comportment has never earned trust. Comportment? Decorum? Those are words for a castle. We are no longer in a castle. There are no rules here. Everywhere, my duke. Your talent for breaking them has failed you at last. I'm taking this one with me.
brave old guy. itself. You'll do it. It's the hard work. Huh. Oh, that'll come in handy when you're king. How do you suppose it is that you fought so well today? I mean, was it luck? You have qualities, you know. Leadership. And, of course, you speak your mind. This will serve you well. Wisdom is our hammer. Prudence will be our nail. When men build lives from honest toil, courage never fails. Where did you hear that? I told it to my son every night when he was a little boy. No one else. Things are going to be a lot harder for you from now on. I'm a simple farmer. Yes, yes. That's all I know. You know, there's that little village not too far from here. They raise two crops a year. That would kill the soil. No, it does not kill the soil because of the seaweed. You see, the seaweed comes in from the ocean and enriches the soil. You should try that. How do you know these things? Because I am king. Because I'm expected to know about the land, just as you will be. As long as there are kings, as long as there is land, they will fight over it. Battles fought for barren lands. What good are these wars if they never end? And they fought for peace. Peace. That's a dream. Dream that maybe you, as king, can bring peace forever. You don't understand. These battles have robbed me of my child. You forget they robbed me of mine.
General Hallett. Yes, sir. Take a scout to the north side of the woods. We should know what's waiting for us. Aye, sir. Commander. Aye. Look. Well, now this is a surprising delivery. Took fellows here to meet justice. I assume the king lives. <laughs> General Backler, give this man your sword. No armor. A duel. How lovely. You remember what I did to you as boys, don't you, Tarish? Can I at least have a lick of wine? Will no man help his king? With his armor? Pigs. Is bound by honor. He'll never kill the new king of Ab. Coward. My subjects of Ab! Long live the king! Hip hip bazaar! Hip hip bazaar! Put it away. Citizens of Ebb! Soldiers of Ebb! A few moments ago, our beloved King Conreed passed away. Murdered by his nephew who sought to take his place. By the laws of our land, the king's successor must be related to him by blood. I give you your new king, the lost son of Conreed, Camden Conreed, known to some of you as Farmer.
Stand up. King called upon you to face death. Those still standing have cheated the death of its prize. But our enemy still lives. We will build his forces, launch a renewed assault. Tonight we dress our wounds, bury our dead. Tomorrow we march on Christwind Hold. Gouge evil from its shell. Bring her over here. Be gone. I sense him. In you. The farmer. <laughs> He'll come for you. This is perfect. And I will be expecting him. I'm nothing to you. Yes, but he's something to me. More than a farmer. Much more dangerous to me than a farmer. Now he'll come to me. How do you know me? you back home. We'll die here. Fight an army that large. Where the broadsword fails, the dagger may succeed. No time for riddles, Magus. A small force might slip through the Krug lines and solve the problem at its source. Give me to this galleon, and I'll kill him. Sir, with respect, are we making plans to save one woman when there's an entire kingdom at risk? If the king is to save his wife, he must kill Galleon. If he kills Galleon, the kingdom is saved. Miriella, now is the time. Your Majesty, I wish to join your mission. I wish to be of service. <clears throat> yes, well, you made it one now. Now, go back to the castle. I am my father's daughter. 
and I will serve the king just as he does. You brought the king's murderer. He fell into my hands. The man needs all the help he can get, Magus. I accept your offer. There are others who wish to help. Which others? Let me show you. You've managed to stay alive. Stayed away. Those who you fight, those who control the Krog, we will help you fight them. But you didn't involve yourself with the conflicts of men. This war isn't going away. We can see that. And when our forest is burned and invaded, we have no other choice. We will fight with you. And then we wish to be left alone. is a secure haven for Magi. How secure? Hmm. Well, the door's open from within. You can get it. A Magus does not need doorways to enter Chriswind. I'll find a way. Do you consider yourself lucky to be alive? I do. Life has never been so exciting. Those people who came with me, why not free them? You do not want the world to know that you have ultimate power and mercy? Do you understand nothing? I'm beyond mercy. I'm beyond good and bad. These are childish ideas. I'm changing the structures of the world. Where would I stop if I showed your friends mercy? It could... No exemptions. No one. Not you. Not the farmer, not your poor screaming boy, whose insides I tore out. Kill me! Kill me! I won't kill you. I enjoy you. If you can bleed, you can die. Perhaps I can. But I won't. I have too much work to do.
There is a cave up there. It allows the air to enter. And now, I must leave you. I don't want you to go alone. If there is any sanity left in that madman, then I must try to reach it. You can't reason with evil, Merrick. But I should at least be able to distract him. I knew you'd come, old friend. We were friends once, but you have greatly changed. Oh? Magus's power is contingent on his service to the king. How is it that you thrive as the king's adversary? How do you like my Krug? They are a cruel abomination. <laughs> Funny thing about Krug, they have no king. So guess what I've done, old friend? I dare not guess. I've made myself king. King of the Krug. Now I serve a king who deserves my utmost devotion. Me. Enough! Galleon, you and I are the last of the Magi. I beg you recognize that you have fallen into madness. You have no idea how powerful madness can be. Kingdom, there will be no word for madness. We shall simply call it power. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> oh, 
the loss of thy power. bickering over a single kingdom now can we how often do two kings get to do battle one-on-one -on -one, getting to taste the blood of one's true enemy you're gonna fight or talk me to death
father, the vengeance of a husband, or the vengeance of a king? You can get the vengeance of a mother! Ah! I wanted to tell you that I love you.